his name is Rory, or he goes by Roger, that's his legal name, I call him Rory. Um, he actually had been struggling with um, ADHD, which I didn't realize until very late. I, you know, it's one of those things, it's a stigma thing. Um, everyone told me that, uh, you know, everybody's ADHD, and so I never had him diagnosed. Then in eighth grade, um, a teacher actually came to me and said, I, I believe that you should get him tested. By then, he started self-medicating. So by the time we fi figured out what was going on with him, he was already well into, you know, uh, pills, mostly medications for ADHD before we even knew that he had it. He was using other people's medications. And, and then through high school, he, um, it just, you know, escalated and went from pills to, I think, I think the end of sophomore year is when he tried heroin for the first time. Um, and, you know, like most people, he was hooked immediately. We were in crisis. We were in years of crisis. You know, and, and the crisis, you know, every time that he has an issue, the family goes into crisis again. I was a crazy person um, in the beginning with him. I can remember, <laughs> I never slept. I was up all night because I was so scared that he was leaving in the middle of the night. I was scared that he wasn't, where was he? You know, when, when was, um, you know, did he, was he on the side of the road dead? You know, was he arrested? I mean, it was constant fear. My son has overdosed no less than eight times. And, um, so there's fear, you know, that, that's, that's a big fear. So where someone will say, just walk, you know, why don't you just walk away? Just maybe put him out on the street, you know? And you know, the tough love approach. But I, I saw my son die. I, you know, I can't, I can't put him out on the street. But a lot of us will talk about this and say, you know, remember saying, I just want it to be over. It's just so much. It's just sometimes you feel like, is it good for them? And I, and when my son was revived in the hospital, he came back, you know, they brought him to the hospital. And, and I came in the room and he, and he opened his eyes and he said to me, why did you do that? And just let me go. <laughs> you know, it's hard. One of the biggest problems we have is that, you know, he is co-occurring and um, with the ADHD, but also early on he was also diagnosed as bipolar, which is, runs in our family. So, um, you know, a lot of people don't want to address that and say that it's because of the drug use. And sometimes, you know, a lot of times it is, but he was diagnosed early. Um, that is seldom addressed in treatment. So he is currently, he made the decision to go on methadone, which is very difficult of all the med medication assisted treatments. It's probably the dip most difficult as far as controlling your life because it's very hard for work, you know, those kind of things. But he is much better, he's working, you know, he's keeping a job, he's doing much better, he's much more stable. So um, I see, you know, I, I see glimmer of hope here that, uh, that he can continue this. Medication assisted treatment is a big, a big topic in the state and I, you know, we get a lot of resistance from a lot of people who stigmatize it. And I, I think people need to understand that there are people who are being saved using medication and we really have to stop stigmatizing it.